Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And today we're in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 27, 17. And the writer of this proverb says, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. You probably have heard this phrase at some point or other, this verse. Um, it is the principle that um, now, let me just admit, I don't have any experience in sharpening iron or using a grinding stone or even a, you know, anything like that, sharpening blades, things like that. But I understand the principle and I've certainly witnessed how this works. But, you know, the iron against another piece like that helps to sharpen that blade. Iron needs another piece of iron in order to get to its best usefulness. Same thing with a friend, a good friendship, a relationship with somebody else. Give and take, challenging, encouraging, all those things that we get from the best of friendship. A, be a good friend is not simply somebody who says, hey, you're great exactly the way you are. You don't have to improve in any way. I'm just going to overlook any of your flaws. Now, certainly we want to give grace to each other, but the best friend is somebody who says, hey, you know what? I don't think you should have acted that way, or I think you should reconsider the way you're responding in the circumstances, or here's how you could improve, or here's how you did so good, and I want to encourage you to do that. These kind of things from a true friend helps us to become a better person, and we are so grateful for those people in our life who challenged us, who taught us things, who helped to encourage positive changes in our life. All of those things happen because of a good friendship and the give and take and the iron sharpening each other um, kind of thing. We want those kind of relationships and, and consider who that person has been for you. Maybe you want to send them a thank you note or to uh, reach out, send them a text of gratitude and uh, let them know the difference that they've made in your life. But then also think about who has God placed in your life right now that as a friend, that you can then help to sharpen them, help them to become a better person, help them to be the best them that they can be. God has placed us in these relationships for our benefit, for their benefit, and ultimately to be used in his strength to be a positive impact in others. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the people in our life who have sharpened us, who have challenged us, who have helped to take the rough edges off and to encourage the positive behaviors. And the way that we have had opportunities to do that for others as well. Lord, give us open eyes and ears to hear and see where you're calling us to be that kind of friend to somebody now. How we can encourage them, how we can challenge them where they need to be challenged how we can receive the same kind of thing. And all together, because of that relationship with another person, we can be a better person, and so can they. We thank you that you are the author of all of it. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. God bless you, and I pray that you can find that sharpening opportunity in this day and in this week. Bye-bye.